Okay, sorry about that, folks. There was a problem with the camera. It ran out of memory. I'm back now, and I'm ready to continue this workout. I'm gonna put the music back on, and help us get back into the right mind frame. I was just about to introduce you to another style of motion that I like to perform. Alright, start feeling it. Then you want to tilt, if you have a chair that tilts back, you want to tilt back all the way and act like you have a bench press in between your hands and just push like it's a bench press. Yeah, with those five pound weights, it quickly adds up. And I try to do three sets of everything that I do just so that I work out my muscles equally. Might speed it up a little bit to make sure that I feel that burn. Do some more biceps. As long as I'm moving my upper body in a constant motion, I'm really making my muscles work. It's kind of more like a, an aerobics workout than a regular heavy lifting cycle. And then you can resume boxing from this position. Works the mountain, works your neck out really nicely. Cause I'm pulling it forward and it's kind of training to stay in front. I just keep going and going. This is also a good position to do the rotations from. You can really get after it. You probably think I'm about to fall over. But I got tip-over wheels to prevent me. Wheelie bars. Oh yeah. That's really burning now. I tried to do this workout for 20 minutes. When my muscles are getting used to working out, I like to increase the time. I generally don't do over 30 minutes. I just might push myself a little harder. For example, you can do different rhythms when you're boxing. You can, I, or I once read about doing this rhythm where you box regular speed for 12 seconds. I think I learned about it on Oprah. Oprah saved my life a few times. I don't know, I don't like to admit it. But anyways, 12 seconds going normal. And then you go eight seconds where you give it your all. And I don't know if that was eight seconds or not, but then you come back to 12 seconds of just going normal speed. Consider jogging and running. Change them up and go for eight minutes if you can. But you wanna build your strength up before you really start to try for your optimal endurance. Because it is difficult but it makes you feel amazing. I know I miss what it's like to feel out of breath running on a track or something like that. This is the best way I've figured out how to get a workout. Keep on working on the boxing. Switch up to shoulders.
And if you're anything like me, you'll start to feel a little bit of a sweat, which is also very hard to come by when you're paralyzed. Here's another technique when my body's feeling right, which is lifting up. This workout is a little bit difficult because your triceps want to help out. But for quads, in most of the cases, we don't have them. It also wants to work out your pecs. I don't have function in my pecs, but there's this little muscle in there that makes it feel like I'm working them out. All right, this is pretty much how I work out. There might, I might come up with a few other ideas, but generally you just kind of do whatever you want. But keep in mind of trying to do an equal amount of repetitions throughout your muscles. I'll have one other thing to show you, or maybe a few other things, but I'll show you that when I get done with these sets. And on the last note, these weights, you wanna make sure that they're all smooth on the inside when you strap them on, because when you're bouncing them around, they can get pretty uncomfortable and they can mess up your skin if you're doing them a lot. These straps also get very tight so that they don't move around. You, I found this at Big Five. I'm sure you can find it in any local store, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions.